Hello, today is Wednesday, March the 17th, and one of the things that we've begun at Episcopal over the past few years is we have had a Wednesday morning Lenten Eucharist. Um, it's been optional for anybody who wanted to come. Um, it's obviously not early in the morning. It's about 11.30 uh, in the morning now, but I would like to, um, again, film this Eucharist and offer it for our Episcopal community uh, to have as we all find ourselves at home, not able to get out and worship, and so we have to find creative ways to gather in community while we are isolated from one another. So I hope that sharing this with you today can bring us all together in a way. We're going to do the Holy Eucharist right too, beginning with the penitential order since we find ourselves in the season of Lent. If you would like to grab a prayer book, you can pause this and come back and join us. But we'll be beginning on page 351 of the Book of Common Prayer in the center of the page with a Lenten acclamation. Bless the Lord who forgives all our sins. His mercy endures forever. Jesus said, the first commandment is this. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is the only Lord. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is this. Love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. Continuing on page 352 with the confession, let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Together, most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you. Forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen you in all goodness and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. Continuing on page 356, Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray. The collect for this, the third week in Lent. Almighty God, you know that we have no power in ourselves to help ourselves. Keep us both outwardly in our bodies and inwardly in our souls, that we may be defended from all adversities which may happen to the body and from all evil thoughts which may assault and hurt the soul. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord Christ. Jesus went away from there and came to his own country, and his disciples followed him. And on the Sabbath he began to teach in the synagogue, and many who heard him were astonished, saying, Where did this man get all this? What is the wisdom given to him? What mighty works are wrought by his hands? Is not this the carpenter, the son of Mary, and the brother of James, and Joseph, and Judas, and Simon? And are not his sisters here with us? And they took offense at him. And Jesus said to them, A prophet is not without honor except in his own country, and among his own kin, and in his own house. And he could do no mighty work there except that he laid his hands upon a few sick people and healed them. And he marveled because of their unbelief. And he went about among the villages teaching, and he called to him the twelve. And he began to send them out two by two and gave them authority over unclean spirits. He charged them to take nothing for their journey except a staff, no bread, no bag, no money in their belts, but to wear sandals and not put on two tunics. And he said to them, where you enter a house, stay there until you leave the place. And if any place will not receive you and they refuse to hear you, when you leave, shake off the dust that is on your feet for a testimony against them. So they went out and preached that men should repent. And they cast out many demons and anointed with oil many that were sick and healed them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. This was a, a daily gospel reading from a few days ago, and I, I kept thinking about maybe more so than ever, ever the way that these disciples were sent out um, 
with almost no knowledge of what it is they were supposed to be doing, that, that Jesus even encounters sort of unforeseen circumstances, or at least to, to us they would be unforeseen. He, he sort of seemed to understand that he would have trouble in his hometown, but he then sends out these disciples who have just joined up to follow him out into the world to do things that they have no set of tools to be able to do at all. And, and as I said, maybe now more so than ever, I am identifying with these disciples as we all find ourselves being asked to work and live and be in community in ways that we never have really imagined or have even really done before. And so Jesus even sort of limits what they have, the, the tools they have to work with. Um, and they go out and they, they, they do the work. And he challenges them to, to find ways to get this done. And so I think all of us, no matter who we are or where we have to go or where we can't go or what we have to do from home or who we have to care for or how we have to manage, we are all working um, in uncharted territory, doing new things that we have never done before. But just as Jesus sends out these disciples, the one assurance that they have is that he is there with them. Um, and God is with us in, in, in spirit, in our presence, and the Eucharist that we will share today. Um, there is always concern. There, there's always worry. But we can take solace in the fact that we know that God loves us and that God is present with us and will be present with us through all of this and through everything that our lives hold. Amen. We'll continue today with the prayers of the people. These are just um, prayers. Sometimes there is a response, but in the prayers that I ask of you today, there is simply uh, a time of silence where you can offer your own prayers. But it is form two on page 385, if you would like to follow along. I ask your prayers for God's people throughout the world, for our bishop, for this gathering, and for all ministers and people. Pray for the church. I ask your prayers for peace, for goodwill among nations, and for the well-being of all people. Pray for justice and peace. I ask your prayers for the poor, the sick, the hungry, the oppressed, and those in prison. Pray for those in any need or trouble. I ask your prayers for all who seek God or a deeper knowledge of him. Pray that they may find and be found by him. I ask your prayers for the departed. Pray for those who have died. And I ask for your own prayers of intercession or thanksgiving at this time, either silently or out loud, wherever you are. I give thanks for this Episcopal community. Praise for those in every generation in whom Christ has been honored. Pray that we may have grace to glorify Christ in our own day. O Lord, our God, accept the fervent prayers of your people. In the multitude of your mercies, look with compassion upon us and all who turn to you for help. For you are gracious, O lover of souls, and to you we give glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. And now may the peace of the Lord be always with you, and also with you. Today I'm going to celebrate the Eucharist for us. It will be Eucharistic Prayer A on page 361 of the Book of Common Prayer, I will receive communion here um, in the chapel, and I will, in a, in a way, offer it to you. Um, so I hope that in some way um, that you feel the presence of God, Christ's real presence in the Eucharist, um, as I offer it today, uh, certainly not only for myself, but for you uh, and for any for whom you would want, with whom you would want to share this video. So now let us walk in love as Christ loved us and gave himself an offering and sacrifice to God.
The Lord be with you and also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. It is right and a good and joyful thing always and everywhere to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who was tempted in every way as we are, yet did not sin. By his grace, we are able to triumph over every evil and to live no longer for ourselves alone, but for him who died for us and rose again. Therefore, we praise you, joining our voices with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, who forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Holy and gracious Father, in your infinite love, you made us for yourself. And when we had fallen into sin and become subject to evil and death, you in your mercy sent Jesus Christ, your only and eternal Son, to share our human nature, to live and die as one of us, to reconcile us to you, the God and Father of all. He stretched out his arms upon the cross and offered himself in obedience to your will, a perfect sacrifice for the whole world. On the night he was handed over to suffering and death, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread. And when he had given thanks to you, he broke it, gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup of wine. And when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Therefore, we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. We celebrate the memorial of our redemption, O Father, in this sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving. Recalling his death, resurrection, and ascension, we offer you these gifts. Sanctify them by your Holy Spirit to be for your people the body and blood of your Son, the holy food and drink of new and unending life in him. Sanctify us also that we may faithfully receive this holy sacrament and serve you in unity, constancy, and peace. And at the last day, bring us with all your saints into the joy of your eternal kingdom. All this we ask through your Son, Jesus Christ, by him and with him and in him. In the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. And now as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Christ, our Passover, is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. The gifts of God for the people of God. Take them in remembrance that Christ died for you, and feed on him in your heart by faith with thanksgiving. the body of Christ, the bread of heaven. The blood of Christ, the cup of salvation. Our post-communion prayer is on page 365 of the Book of Common Prayer. Together, let us pray. Eternal God, Heavenly Father, you have graciously accepted us as living members of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, and you have fed us with spiritual food in the sacrament of his body and blood. Send us now into the world in peace and grant us strength and courage to love and serve you with gladness and singleness of heart through Christ our Lord. 
Amen. And now may the peace of God, which passes understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of His Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and those you love and serve this day and forever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.